welcome back to my channel. So I hope you guys are doing well. We are so close to Christmas and so I'm so excited because that means that I have uploaded every day until Christmas day. So I hope you enjoyed Vlogmas. I've had a lot of fun filming these videos for you guys. Firstly, it is not cold outside today where I live, so this sweater is a complete facade. Just thought that I'd go ahead and point that out there. It's just, it's newer and I wanted to wear it, so I'm wearing it. And it is like almost 70 degrees outside, but that's okay, you guys don't know that. Um, so today I'm really excited because I'm finally going to be filming the um, 12 Pans of Christmas Project Pan update. So this is kind of like my finale. I didn't do any other updates. I just did my intro video, which I will have linked down below um, if you are you know, at all curious about um, why I decided to do this project and things like that. So this is going to be my finale. I am very happy with my results. I will say I did not hit all of my usage goals, um, but I'm not mad about it. Nonetheless, I still got really great um, usage out of my products. So let's go ahead and get started. So the first thing was my CoverGirl Healthy Elixir Foundation, and my goal was to use this 15 times, and I have used this 13 times. So I don't know if you'll be able to tell, but you can definitely see usage. The bottle is starting to become a little bit worn down as far as um, the product that's actually inside. So that's really exciting. I do enjoy this foundation. I will say using it con like consistently has shown me that it's not my favorite foundation. I have foundations that just wear better. Um, and I think what it is, there's nothing wrong with the wear time. There's nothing wrong with um, initial application. I think what it is, is it's the way that it sits on my skin. Um, I feel like some foundations really do sink into my skin and they become one with my skin. And I feel like this foundation can sometimes just sit on top of it. So that's kind of my only reservation I have with this one. But again, it's discontinued, so it's not like you can go out and purchase it. Um, but it's a great foundation. So if you have this in your collection, use it, right? It's going to be expiring pretty soon. Um, this is something I was going to say. This expires next month in January. Now, I know that that expiration date is because there's SPF in this foundation. I will say, though, as soon as January hits, I'm not going to throw this out. I'm going to continue using it. Um, there's probably foundations that are expired already in my collection. So why should I just throw this one out whenever it's performing just fine, whenever I'm not doing that for other ones? So I'm really going to try to finish this one up completely. Um, if not, just get a lot of use out of it and then just, you know, trash it. But overall, I do enjoy this one. I think it's a really great um, everyday foundation, but I didn't hit my goal, but I use this a lot. Like I know for a fact that I use this a lot. So there is my first product. The second product is from Hourglass and this is the Hourglass Scattered Lights Eyeshadow. I do have the shade Smoke. It's a very stunning, like taupey color. These reflect so well on the eyes. I do want to show you. Um, I actually have it on today. And I don't know if you can see, but just kind of like the reflect on my eye. I just topped this hourglass single shadow on my shimmer shade on my eyes. And I feel like it really does make such a big difference. And my goal was to use this eight, time. I, eight times. I only used it. I wonder if I marked it for today. I want to say I've only used it six times. Um, I have five here, but I did use it today and I don't know if I marked it, but I've only used it six times and that is so close to my goal. I'm not upset at all. My main goal with this one was just to get more use out of it because I did pay full price for this. I wanted to make sure that I was using it and that it wasn't just like sitting there in my collection. I have some gripes about this product now that I've used it a lot. It is stunning. There's no question about it. Um, you know, there's nothing wrong with the formula. There's nothing like it's not that I wouldn't recommend it. I wouldn't recommend it for the full price. I think if you're able to get them on sale, you know, it's really nice. But I will say that sh Super Shock Shadows are so like so similar to this. Um, the shade is nice, the shade Smoke, but I feel like the ColourPop and Super Sock Shadow in the shade a little quirky might be a dupe for it, I'm not sure, but they do look awfully similar. But not only that, I just feel like I don't really like 
need this in my collection. I'm not going to declutter it or anything. Um, I'll probably keep it around for a little bit longer before I decide um, on that. Um, but I just don't think like looking back, I don't think I needed to have purchased this, if that makes sense. So that is my hourglass product. Um, this is one I did terrible on you guys. This is from Stila. This is the liquid shadow in the shade La Deuce. My goal was to use this five times and I only used it one. Uh, okay. I have come to learn about myself though, that I just, I'm so over these liquid shadows. I really don't gravitate towards them. Um, I just feel like I'm missing out on using my eyeshadow palettes whenever I use this. Um, it's kind of similar to the hourglass sh uh, single shadow that I just talked about, but at least that one, it's like a topper. Like I can just apply a little bit on the eyes like I did today. And it's not like I am taking away from the eyeshadow look. This, I feel like I can either use, I can only use it just by itself or just throw in some mattes and then put this on the lid. And I would much rather just go in with a powder shadow, like a powder shimmer shadow um, for that matter. So I'm just really like over these. I have so many in my collection and I just feel like I, I don't want them. Like I'm probably going to declutter them. Some of them are probably on their last leg anyways, as far as um, them like drying out. So they may even be time to throw them out. I hate to be that wasteful, but at the same time, I know my sisters don't want them. I can't donate them because they're products that go on your eyes. So I'm kind of like stuck, you know, and I think that goes to show you just how um, conscious you should be when purchasing makeup and when bringing things into your collection because you never want to be wasteful. But yes, I didn't hit my goal, unfortunately, but it's literally because I didn't want to use it. I mean, it, it is what it is. And I kind of accepted that. The next product is my Flower Beauty Light Illusion Concealer. And my goal was to use this 10 times and I used it five, six, seven, eight times, but it's because I finished it. So you can see here that it looks like it still has product in here, but I'm telling you, I went in with this like so many times, as you can see, eight times. And like, it was just getting harder and harder and harder to scrape out of the component. I am not someone who removes a stopper. I have so many concealers in my collection that I just, I just don't feel the need to do that. I feel like if I cannot scrape any product out, it's good as done. Like that's all I say. So this is done. I'm really happy because this is the second, um, like usage project pan projects that I've done this year. I did the Halloween one and then now this one for Christmas and I've already finished two concealers. So I'm really happy about that. So this is my first empty for this project anyways. Then we have the Urban Decay B6 Primer Spray. My goal is to use this 10 times and I did use it 12 times. And this is empty. I'm so happy. Um, I really did enjoy this product a lot. I picked it up from TJ Maxx and I think it's discontinued, but I know that they have something kind of similar to this in their um, in their like line right now. But I really did enjoy this as a primer spray. I felt like it was very effective at priming my skin before makeup, but it's nothing I'm going to go in and like repurchase or anything. Obviously, I don't even think it's available at this point, but I just have so many primer sprays in my collection that I'm just happy to have completed this one. So that was another empty with this project. Then we have the Becca First Light Priming Filter, and this is just the deluxe size sample that I have. My goal was to use this 10 times, and I did use it exactly that many times. I did use this 10 times. Really, really do enjoy this product a lot. Um, I will say I'm glad I pulled it into this project because it's just kind of like sparked a new love that I have for it. And I honestly don't think I have that much left. Um, the, pop, the product itself, like the bottle, is very airy so it looks like this is like a full tube but it's really not i can tell that the product is like sitting somewhere like in here um but again i am still getting a pretty good amount each time that i'm um, using it there's still quite a bit left in the tube so i am confident that i will finish this up but i'm ready to kind of put it back into my collection or maybe leave it out um, but just not use it as consistently but still have it as a reminder that i want to try to use it up but um, yeah, very pleased with my usage on this one and also just that I've rediscovered my love for it. Then another product I didn't hit my goal on 
one. This is the Smashbox Primerizer Mini. And this is just one that I got in a holiday set a couple years back. And this is what it looks like. Really do enjoy this primer, but I will say it's just not my preference anymore. I kind of touched on this on my 2019 versus 2020 favorites um, video that the Smashbox Primerizer and just hydrating primers in general are just not really what I gravitate towards anymore. I want something that's either glowy or like pore filling or smoothing on the skin because I feel like my moisturizer and like my sunscreen, all of those do enough for me as far as moisture goes that I feel like I don't really need to go in with an additional hydrating primer, if that makes sense. So I do enjoy this a lot still, but the thing is, it's I'm kind of kicking myself because I also have the full size in my collection. So that's kind of like, eh, but I do enjoy this and I will see myself finishing this one up. I can see that there's not a lot of product in here anyways, so I'm sure I can finish it up real soon. Then we have the Too Faced Gingerbread Spice Palette. So this one, my goal was to use it five times and I did use it exactly five times. Really do enjoy this one. Of course, I don't see a lot of like usage, like dents in the palette or anything like that. Of course, I have no pan, but I just really wanted to focus on using this one some more because I absolutely love these like holiday palettes from Too Faced that they come out with each year. And I just feel like I never get a lot of use out of this one um, or out of them rather. And I feel like especially with these, um, the first one, which is this one and the second one, which I also have, I just feel like they're very specific to this time of year and especially like to the fall season because they're very warm and toasty shades, which I love and I appreciate, but I feel like during like the spring, I'm not really wanting to use these shades, if that makes sense. So I just wanted to get some more use out of this. I still love this formula so much. I am very impressed with how, even though I've had it for two years, it's still performing so well. The mattes perform really well. The shimmer shades still perform really well. I will say this shade right here, Spiced Rum, it's just a very poor shade. I don't like it. Um, it's very, very crumbly. I tried using it, um, not recently, but this was like maybe a few months ago or something. Oh my gosh, it was like so crumbly. It was a hot mess. So um, I don't recommend that shade, but I feel like that shade is just a dud. So really happy to have hit my goal on that one. Then we have my Flower Beauty Pressed Powder. So this is my Light Illusion Pressed Powder. My goal was to use this 10 times and I only used it four and it's because I completely finished it. So, so happy about this progress. I had pan on this from the very beginning of the year and I went ahead and repressed it and then I just like completely neglected it. I don't know why I did that, but... I set my mind to it and I finished it and I feel like once I repressed it, it was just so easy to hit, like com to completely finish. So I am completely inspired to finishing up other powders in my collection, especially these pressed powders because I feel like they're easier to hit pan on. Um, I have one currently, the Essence, like keep me matte or whatever that one i have hit pan on so i might repress that soon and then i think i might be able to finish it fairly easily but so happy to have finished this one really do like that one as well it's a great great powder um then we have okay so then we have the profusion wanderlust palette so here's the palette right here and this is what it we this is what it looks like on the inside. Really, really beautiful. My goal was to use this one as well five times. I used it two times. I very easily could have hit the goal, but I'm gonna be honest with you. I think I'm going to be decluttering my Profusion palettes. Um, they are just palettes that I don't reach for, if I'm just being honest. I never use them. The quality is great. Like, there's nothing wrong with the quality. Um, it's just the, like, how large they are, and a lot of them are more colorful. Um, like the Stone Cold Fox palette from ColourPop, that one is really, really large, like, if I'm being honest. But because it's more of, like, a neutral cool toned palette um i feel like i reach for it and i want to use it and it's actually what i used on my eyes today so basically with these profusion palettes i just feel like you know if i want the blues i have my blue moon palette from ColourPop. if i want the purples i have my it's my pleasure palette from ColourPop. and then of course these like greens and browns i have in other like neutral palettes so I just wasn't 
first off I used it two times and yeah two times and I just wasn't even like impressed I was like eh, you know it's whatever I'm just not inspired by these anymore and it's really sad because they're super affordable but again there's nothing wrong with the quality like I'm not like not recommending them like I think they're great they're a great price they're great quality but I just don't see a place for them in my collection anymore if that makes sense so that is the deal with my profusion wanderlust palette and then we have the Too Faced Pumpkin Spice Liquid Lipstick. Another one I didn't hit my goal. This is the, um, my, or my goal was to use it four times. I only used it three, so I very easily could have. But to be honest with you, whenever I was here at home, I really wasn't using very many um, lip products, at least liquid lipsticks. And then whenever I go into work, you know, I just probably wasn't even wearing lip products because I knew I was going to have to wear a mask. Um, at least a little bit of the time while I was there. So I used this three times. I'm still happy with that progress. I used it a lot with the Too Faced Gingerbread Spice palette. So, you know, I'm not really beating myself up about that one. And then the final product is the uh, Becca Ruby Fire Gloss. My goal is to use this four times and I did use it four times. So I did meet my goal on this one. I really love this color. It's actually what I'm wearing today. It's a little bit faded, but um, it's because like, I was drinking coffee and stuff. But this is a beautiful sheer wash of color. It's of course red. So like you're gonna, it's going to be red on, but it's sheer. So it doesn't look like, um, you know, you have a full on red lip. It's just something that's a little bit more everyday appropriate. Um, it's something that you can feel comfortable wearing out. Of course, with wearing a mask, I wouldn't wear this underneath it, but if it was normal times and we weren't wearing masks, this would be a beautiful lip gloss to wear. And the formula is so nice. Like, I am so impressed with the Becca lip gloss formula. It's amazing. But those are all of my updates for all of the 12 products that were in my 12 Pants of Christmas project. Um, I am so excited to have concluded another you know, usage project. I'm looking forward to doing them in 2021. So I hope you enjoyed. Definitely check out the introduction to this video if you're curious as to why I wanted to do the project. And um, I also hope that you will subscribe. I don't want to, I don't know when I'm uploading this. I'm filming this on the 23rd. So I don't know if it's going to be my Christmas Eve video or my Christmas Day video. But if it's Christmas Day, Merry Christmas. I hope you are doing well. And if it's Christmas Eve, I hope that you are celebrating celebrating whether it's by yourself or through a zoom call or you're you know able to see family um, just stay safe and I hope to see you in my next video bye